A North Spokane man was shaken this morning when he discovered for the second time in a week someone set a piece of his property on fire. Good evening, I'm Tori Brunetti. The second fire was started overnight right on the man's front porch. KXY Forest Clean O'Brien is live in North Spokane where it happened. Clean? And it wasn't so much the act of vandalism that is upsetting this homeowner. It's what was burned. His American flag attached to his front porch was torched, pieces of it melting down onto his stairway and banister, causing damage to the home. And there are a lot of businesses around here, a lot of people around to see what happened, but nobody saw who torched that American flag this morning. The homeowner was so upset he could barely speak. I'm appalled. I just, you know, I just, I'm sick. He didn't want to be on camera for this interview, too disturbed that someone would burn his American flag, potentially setting fire to his home. This is a, you know, a direct attack on my family as far as I'm concerned. The father of three expressed himself as truly patriotic, repeating many times he's proud to be an American and showing that by lining his home with multiple flags. I would die for our flag. But he never dreamed someone would burn one. Probably some kids doing it, who knows, you know, I just... But it's got to stop somewhere. This is this is getting ridiculous. This isn't the first time he's had someone set fire to something on his property. Just last week, a trash can was set on fire in the back alley behind his home. The fire burned so hot, the entire bin melted to the ground. That he can brush off, but not having his American flag burned. It's not just me. It's what kind of message is sent out to everybody. It's ridiculous. He's checking with neighboring businesses to see if any surveillance cameras caught the arsonists in action. But before taking action, he wasted no time in getting a new American flag back in its place. And the homeowner, he did file a crime check report with police to keep this on record in case it happens again. There's a church nearby, a Zips, there's a Sherry's and a Subway. He's really hoping one of those businesses had a camera and caught who did this to his American flag. In North Spokane, Colleen O'Brien, KXOY4 HD News.